I'm here to share with you guys some embellishments that I created for a swap over on Crafters with Artitude Facebook group. This is the card candy kit and we're to create some embellishments that um, the recipient can use on their cards, etc. So I have two partners for this swap. I'm here to share with you um, the kits that I created. <clears throat> For this first kit, I call this like the Sweet Treats uh, kit. And let me share with you some of the dies that I use to create this project. <clears throat> I use this ice cream die. And um, I got all of the dies for, from Bling For You, Bling For Me. That store is owned by Natalie, who has put some bling on it here on YouTube. So I use this um ice cream cone um, die. I use this die, which is a cupcake die. And I use the donut. <clears throat> the donut die. And I use only one sentiment out of this stamp set. This is a Fiskars Fresh Fruit stamp. And I use this one that says, What a Treat. Okay. So here are my embellishments. I got them put on this card. And it's uh, pretty self-explanatory what I did. Here's the donuts. I glittered up the donuts with um, some of the um, confetti, the little star confetti uh, from Martha Stewart. And here's my ice cream cone. Uh, for the base, I cut that out of the Recollections corrugated uh, card. I like the, I wanted some dimension to the cone and I wanted it to resemble uh, the sugar cone. So uh, that's what I used. And I cut it out like three times and adhered it so it can have some thickness. Then um, I also used some um, stickles, not stickles, um, some of the, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of that, um, dry stickle um, glitter. I think that's the name of it. But I use that all over the ice cream cone. And um, I also use the drippy glue, the Martha Stewart drippy glue punch to make it look like the ice cream is dripping a little bit. I used it up here at the top and then here. And you can see that and it's very glittery. And then here's the cute little cupcake. I use some glitter um, that I got from Joann's on the top of the cupcake. <clears throat> And I used some Winkle Stella on it, and I put this cute little bow. And then down here is, um, this resembles a uh, candy bar. And I just put on there, what a treat. I stamped on it. And actually, this embellishment was a Halloween embellishment, and I just took the paper and covered it uh, with the paper that I wanted and stamped on top of it. So um, you can always utilize things in your stash and alter it up and, and make it work for uh, what you're, what you're uh, creating. And then for this, this is to resemble like a popsicle. It has a popsicle stick and it's a rosette. And this was actually gifted to me by Natalie who has put some bling on it. Um, the rosette part and I put the popsicle stick and this cute little cupcake uh, little resin piece in the center. I added that touch to it. And these you can also pick up from Natalie's shop. So I think, and then I cut the, here's the Sentiment Sweet. Also comes with that donut um, die. And if you can tell, you probably can't tell, but that's actually some foiling that I use the um, adhesive, um, double-sided adhesive. I put it on some cardstock and then put the... Uh, die ran the die through and then took the foiling sheet and rubbed it in to get the foiling look for that sweet. You can't tell on camera but I think these turned out super cute. Uh, they look so yummy and um, I'm going to package it up really cute and so this is my first kit. We're to do uh, two kits uh, with five embellishments so I'll come back and um, share with you. I'm sharing with you as I create because I like to go ahead and package things, take my photos, and be done. So I'll keep coming back um, as I complete um, the kits and share with you. Alright, I'll be back. 
Hey you guys, I'm back and I finished the second set for the card candy kit. And um, I used this die uh, set from Amy Tangerine. I only used the camera. And I used one of these Michael's uh, little frames. I really like these too. I find that I'm using those a lot. So here's my kit. Um, I call this, um, it's all about the shaker kits. So um, let's see. Try to keep this open here. Okay, so here's the Michaels frame, and I put some um, glitter on it, and it's really shiny. The image inside of the frame came from Prima Delight, and um, I created a cute little shaker. I used the floral ovals and then the regular um, oval in the inside. So my partner can just pop this whole thing off and put it on a project, a card, an altered box, whatever she wants to use it for. So, you know, it's easier and a lot convenient for her crafting. So, um, so that's that. And then I used one of these chipboard pieces that came uh, with this Prima Delight set or stack. So here's the next one I created, a little embellishment. Um, that's the camera die. Um, I used Friends Hodge on the camera. The base, I used the uh, Recollections um, card base that we all like to use. I like to use those sometimes when I'm die cutting for stability, for to give it some sturdiness and um, the texture. You know, so you can see those lines and the texture. So I put this really fun crown um, on the side. Put this cute little bow and bling piece. And then I made this, the little lens part a shaker. So I put that fun little birthday girl in the inside. And then it's a shaker with um, some glitter in there. And then I just popped it on top of one of these little cute tags from um, Martha Stewart. So again, she can use that on a project. And here's the next one. I used the die cut of a little shabby chic bike. Again, I used the Recollections um, corrugated um, card base. And then I used Frontage to color it up, the shabby pink. I created a shaker in the wheels of the bike. I put some cute rose flowers and a cute butterfly in the inside of the basket. Then I put a sentiment up here, a chipboard piece that says hello. And again, my partner can pop this whole thing off and place that on a project and add things to it if she likes. I kept it kind of plain, so if she wanted to add some other things to it, she could. So these next two pieces I got from Natalie, who has put some bling on it, this cute rosette. I thought it went really uh, good with the set already, so I decided to include it. And also this cute mason jar that has love and a cute butterfly. Again, it went really, really well uh, with this set, so I decided to include those two pieces. So we were to create five pieces and or embellishments, and those are my five. So I think it's shabby licious. I really, really like it. And I hope my partner likes shabby chic. <laughs> uh, we decided to just um, have creative freedom. So you guys knew I was going to dive in and do something shabby chic. So those are my two parts. I will have uh, photos at the end of this video. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.